Hello, I'm Helen Paris and my book is Lost Property. And the inspiration for Lost Property came to me whilst I was actually working for a week in Lost Property in Baker Street in London. I was doing some research for an art project on loss and the place just took up residence in my imagination and it stayed there long after that art project was finished. And I was captivated by the Lost Property staff and by the attention that they paid. And I was also captivated by the customers who would come in, particularly those who would start to sort of mime out the shape of their lost object in case maybe that might help. And whether it's a designer bag left behind in a black cab or whether it's a woolly scarf left on the bus, loss touches all of us. It is pervasive and it never ends. Or as Doc Watson might say, it's reliable like that. And that week in Nuss Property, I was privy to a whole range of emotions from absolute desolation from people coming in in search of their lost object and it not being there to conversely absolute joy when yes indeed their object was there and it was handed back to them and also to the loyalty of all of those people who bothered to go out of their way to bring in lost property that they had found in London in the hope that maybe one day the owner would come looking for it and be reunited. And I have always been fascinated by objects and how they hold memories and how they can become totemic and portals in a way, how they can remind us of a place or a person, particularly if that person is no longer with us and are so potent that when we hold them, we can almost time travel back to that place, to that person and linger there, if only for a moment.